Greetings! Recently, I was sent a super lovely care package by Paula from Florida. We had talked about sharing some supplies and she also snuck in surprises. I received this big box, nicely wrapped in stamped craft paper. The stamps are really fun and it's a nice way to customize snail mail. Let's open the box. The first thing is a lovely note that I took a moment to read privately. Then there was a piece of a special patternless paper towel to dab paint off. Patterned paper towels can leave an imprint behind and patternless paper is not common or easy to find. She also sent me laparotomy sponges. Many have commented about seeing them before in my videos. There's a lot of nurses in my family and at some point I found myself with a few of these that I use as rags when painting. I can wash them and they are super absorbent, but not being a nurse myself, I wouldn't know where to purchase new ones. I'm really happy Paula sent me some new ones. The next thing is a small container of Twinkling H2O Mica watercolor paint. The color is named Apple Blossom and it's a beautiful pink shimmer color. I've never tried these and I'm really curious about this product. I really like the size too. It's easy to use and easy to store as well. Then, Paula sent me strips of removable adhesive paper. I often use washi tape for its removable qualities, but it's not super easy to write on, so I'm glad for this new labeling option. Since I started watching and making painting videos, I've noticed that not all dollar stores are created equal. Among the many things that I can't find here is good, sturdy but thin cutting boards. These are great to use as writing boards or to mix paints when painting. You can also tape small paintings to them. They are very handy because they take very little storage space and they are easy to carry and light. Paula found some at her dollar store and she sent them to me. I really appreciate the rounded corners as I've scratched myself repeatedly on sharp corners. The next item is a silicone mini ice cubes mold. These can be easily cut and included into metal tin sets between rows to add in yet more paints. I wonder if they'd work to cure paint into quarter pan size for the Diller Rani mini set. Then she included a super stable round little container. The mini mister I pick up next is incredibly well timed as I've dropped and messed up my Mr. Bottle. This container has light dimensional watercolor ground by Core. I'm really super excited to try this out. I'm thankful for the small container so I can try it before shelling out on a big pot. And if I don't like it, well, I'm not stuck with a pot of medium I don't like. Watercolor grounds are a fascinating concept and I'm eager to try it out. The baggie I pick up next has a collection of mini tools. I'm pausing here because the mini spoons are absolutely amazing and have been a super important part of my paint making process ever since I got them. Alright, back to normal speed. The next item is a super nice shimmery powder eyeshadow that I'm probably gonna turn into a paint or maybe a shimmer spray. And speaking of mini things, this mini dropper bottle is adorable and perfect for the smallest of travel sets. Under the laparotomy sponge is yet more really neat and thoughtful items.
The first thing I grab is this beautiful tin. I like when tins are made to be this pretty, since that means there's less chance of them ending up in the recycling bin. It also means an artist somewhere got a gig to draw the art and I appreciate everything that translates into more work available to artists. Inside the tin was a roll of sticky double-sided thin tape and magnetic tape. The second tin is just as pretty as the first one, and it's off-screen because I'm staring closely at the art on the lid, and Paula filled it with empty pans, with a magnet on their bottom. It got jumbled around in transit, so I'm putting it back together. I really love the look of these two tins. And speaking of tins, the next item I pick up is a super cute vintage tin, and it's filled with plastic pipettes. The tin is super slim, and it would be a great one to stick some pans and travel brushes in for another easy-to-carry set. Hidden in the side of the box is a pen blade. I had never seen one before, but it looks super handy and I can use it without having to worry about not retracting the blade properly. With cats around, this pen blade is a nice, safe option. And now, another thing I'm incredibly excited about is this set of core paints that Paula was kind to put together for me. This is a super complete selection of colors, including metallics and pearl paints. I'm really looking forward to playing with these. Right under the core paints is the Essentials set by Daniel Smith. For some reason, this set is incredibly expensive here, compared to the price on American Amazon. Paula was super awesome and sent me one, so I can finally review this set. This is my first time handling the 5ml tubes of Daniel Smith. They are so small and cute. The last items in this box are a laparotomy sponge and a flower sack white towel. It's a very interesting fabric and very bright. At the last moment, I had an idea. I rummaged around for a specific tin, which is a nurse Hello Kitty tin that used to have bandages in it. I removed what was left in it, and the core paint tray fits in perfectly. This is now the Pola core set. Huge thanks to Pola for this awesome, thoughtful, and bountiful care package. I'm really excited to play with all of these new materials. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video, and that some of the things in there might give you ideas about what you can do with what you have access to. Thank you for watching and take care, bye bye!